guys. There's a Coca-Cola there. There's a cell phone out of reach from where we're working. There's a cowl down here. There's some Fender cowl lacing bag there. And there's a Model A sitting here. So it is Sunday fun day. So I'm going to try to get my cowl on today, the lacing all in it, try and get my headlights in today, and then I'm going to work on my rear license plate stuff. I am leaving the doors and the deck lid off of this car. Uh, the reason I'm leaving it off is I think it'll be much easier for the upholsterer when it goes for upholstery if he doesn't, if he can just have no doors on it and no deck lid on it. So he's going to be putting the patch up on the roof for sure. My friend Ron, he's going to do the patch on the roof, and he said he would do the carpeting in the car. From there, he said how he, he'll see how he feels on the rest of it. Hopefully we can get him to do a little more, but if we can't, I'm not going to bitch. I'm going to be happy because those are the two main things I need done. So, um, yeah, so that's the reason for leaving the doors and the deck lid off. So anyway, headlights today, cowl on, rear license plate holder, and I got to jack it up. I need to get this car up on the hoist is what I need to do because the thing is is that um, I've never had it on the hoist. You've seen it the whole time through the build. It's been sitting on these jack stands. Well, my transmission, which I can do it in the jack stands, but i got to get in the air because transmission moves a little bit on the mount left or right and I was looking at it because I took it down had the exhaust done oh which you guys don't know had the exhaust done and when I was getting the exhaust done I was looking underneath it and my tranny's just a little bit off so I just got to loosen the two bolts on the mount and just push her slightly over to get her straight but it'd be nice to have it on the hoist to be able to look at it properly right but yeah there's my exhaust pipes they're all hooked up under there so I'm going to paint those with a I don't know yet I'm not going to go with the silver like the header I really don't want them to show. Like, that's a beautiful job. I had Vic's Exhaust do that for me in town here locally. He does an awesome job. Nothing, you know, nothing but good things to say about him. But I think I might paint the pipe black. Um, give me your opinion out there. I'm not going to do it today, but let me know what you think. Do I go silver? Do I go black? Some people say wrap it because they're worried about the heat. Some people say, what well, could discolor your frame there with the heat. You're right, it could. But I'm really not a fan of the wrap. Okay, I'm just not a fan of wrapping things. I, I, I don't like exhaust wrapped. I think it looks tacky as hell. But anyway, so it got all done there. And of course, then we got the... Where are we here? I haven't got the tips on it yet. Oh, come on. Let's get this cover off. I've got it wrapped up like in three covers now. There's, you can just see it there. There's my... Comes out right underneath the panel. We'll get a better shot later when I get the license plate. When I'm working on that. But yeah, so... And I put... um. A little tight under here. Some people, I mean, I could have went bigger pipe, but I just went, uh, I went two and a quarter, and I went a set, a set, I went with a set of 14-inch Porter mufflers. Porter mufflers. Apparently, those they sound pretty good online, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy about them. Oh, and I got, I got to swap out my belt today. I remember in the last video, I said the belt was, I put the wrong belt on it. Somebody was saying, I don't think you have enough room here between the valve cover and the alternator. They'd mentioned, which was, you know, good eyes. But yeah, I've got, I've got over an inch here. And I remember this alternator sat really close to the valve cover before. I think that other, I think actually the other belt I got is only a half inch shorter. So just cut this in half and it'll work out fine. So I'll get that on there. So, uh, yeah. And that's about it because it's going to take time to do this. So let the, uh, when things are painted, it takes way longer. So let's let the fun and games begin by, uh, well, I'm going to start mounting the cowl, I think. Better make sure all my wiring and everything's tied up underneath here first, though, while I got the cowl off. It's easier to get to. Okay, I've got the cowl set up here in place, and what I'm doing is whether this is right or wrong, this is hot rodding, customizing, building your own car, doing your own thing. So what I'm getting at here is there's this welting that I've got, right? It goes in between. It's just your typical fender welting here, right? Use it on fenders, use it on everything. Now some people, there's different, you got to watch it. This one actually looks like an, it's got a nice, you see the grain to it? Where some are just a vinyl. They don't look as, ta they look a little tackier. It's got a nice grain. Some people may not want to use it. I'm using it because my lines, to be honest, aren't perfect between my tank and my cowl. I mean, my cowl and my, 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 my front panel here. They're not perfect. So I put this in here and it hides where the imperfections are. Some people might have body worked that absolutely pristine perfect. I didn't. I built this car the way Henry Ford would have built it. I left the body panels alone. How they line up is how they line up, believe it or not. Um, so anyway, I'm doing it in one swoop of a, of a piece. And I'm slowly sticking pokers through. And I move one poker and go to the next hole. As I put in, you can see, which we painted at the same time, our nice little flat button head bolts. I don't know if you can see that. 
we go. Alright. With a nice little stainless nut, which you don't really notice, it's up underneath there. So I'm doing one at a time, tightening it down, not over tightening it, just get them lined up. This, of course, you got your, your, um, your another molding piece that goes in here and bolts that down. So just working that slowly. You know, here I got to still fiddle with it a little bit. This has got to go in just a little tighter. But I'm doing it all in one piece, and that's what I'm saying. I don't know if this is the right way to do it, the wrong way to do it. Maybe some people do it in three pieces, one on either side, one on the front. I'm not sure. But I'm doing it in one solid piece. I'm happy with what's going on, and it's coming along. So it takes time, but it's getting there. So when I set the camera down a while ago, believe it or not, that was like 45 minutes, almost an hour ago, I set it down just to get this far. So you see what I mean? It takes time when paint's fresh. But I'm having fun, and I'm going to continue on. Remember too, I put the, um, I bought the piece, this is an actually 32 Ford cowl vent that I put in here. Bought uh, the old car center, probably a year ago now when I started the car, bought it and put it in there. So you can use all sorts of vents, at the end of the day, a vent's a vent, right? But, you know, I wanted to put a 32 Ford one in there just because just because I put the 32 Ford firewall in. So, there we go. Okay, so I got the cowl on. Don't be threading or worrying when you see I got some tape here. Um, I got the little seal in here. It was just sticking out just a little bit back in here where I wasn't happy, so I put a little um, 3M weather stripping adhesive, and I'm just holding it in there, same as the other side. But the cowl is on. You can see there's a nice beading all the way. Looks nice. I'm happy with that. I got this little grommet piece. I don't know, wow, windshield, whatever piece up on here. It goes over top, bolts everything down. Got that on. I got my... Uh, my signal light little bezels all in place. Got my headlights in. So I gotta find my headlight rings. I believe I think they're down in my basement somewhere. So I gotta look for them. I tell you, this is taking me a lot longer than I thought today. I thought I'd get a lot more done, but I don't even know if I'll get around to the back. I think I think it's gonna take longer than I thought, but that's okay. I gotta get the I gotta get the cowl vent thing in there next. And then what I gotta do is my column, if you remember my column is all all loose here, because that bolts up. To my cowl so I'm gonna do that next and I can put my fuel gauge in what's this that fell down oh it just came on just come off of there I didn't have it tied up there yet oh, that's that's the other thing now now that the cowl's on I can tie tape and tie up all the wiring so that's next too so we're good so I think next I'll uh I'll find my rings for the headlights oh god I just noticed this myself in the camera the little holes right here I've got the little guide brass uh, things I got to put on there. They're somewhere, I believe, I believe they're in the office, but I don't know if I've got rivets here for that small enough today. Or, you know what, maybe I won't do rivets. I think it would look a lot better. No, the rivets will look hokey. I'm gonna get some nice brass little screws. So I'll get those tomorrow. Where are they? Oh my good, there they are. we go yeah see these are kind of a brassy color so I'm gonna get some nice little brass screws and put them on I don't want to put a rivet on there a rivet would just look fucking terrible yeah okay okay so I gotta figure that out what size I need for them all right okay well hey we're uh, we're having fun here actually there's my there's my mount right there for the column so I gotta put that on and uh, that so i got to figure all that out. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to go play. I'll go back to you in a bit. Okay, I feel like the day's slipping away quicker than it should have, but I got the, uh, got the cowl vent lid on with the seal underneath it and the screen. I'll pop it open in a second here and show you. Um, I got the steering column mount right here. It's all bolted in up to my dash underneath here. Um, I got my little dropped gauge panel thing. You remember way back in the day, I, I made that. I didn't, oh, let me get in here, it's tight. I made it, so I got the ignition key on one side and the, and the gas gauge, whoops, gas gauge on this side. So I got everything mounted so the column's, column's good and uh, secure in there, can't move it. Um, what else did I get done? Tidied up the wiring, like no more wires hanging down underneath Sorry guys, it's a shitty filming, isn't it? No more wires hanging underneath this that little bit there, which you can't see. I mean, I'm down on the ground pointing the camera under the dash. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tape these wires up. 
uh, on this part. I'm going to leave it because they're labeled like every two or three inches. If there's an issue, I like the fact I can just look here and see it. Everything else I'm covering up with a nice loom, but I'm not, I'm not going to touch those there. Just going to let them be. Um, I'm running this old, um, I bought it, you buy it from Speedway Motors, it's like the cloth loom to go over top. So I'm running it where you see stuff, but I'm in there, like I say, I'm not concerned about it. Where my wiring goes down through here, I ran it on that. And of course, you know, we'll, uh, we'll run it down, obviously over here on the headlights, I gotta still run it there. Um, but yeah, so uh, let me, uh, let me just get, I've got a handle here for the cowl vent, somewhere. See the keyword I just said there? Somewhere. Uh, I did I did have one. I think I can find it. I just I, I had to stop looking for it because I felt like I was getting nowhere looking, but anyway, I do have to find it because. Okay, here we go. We're opening up. Oh god. There we go. First notch. Second. And it does have a third. There we go. Pull her down. Um, here, I'll show you the screen in there. And there's the screen, Vintique, that's the screen. No, I'm not gonna put any eyeballs up in there or striping or any of that, not interested. Sorry guys, I know some of you like that stuff, but it just uh, doesn't do anything for me. Um, there we go. A friend of mine asked me, you're gonna put some striping on your car, and I, uh, I honestly don't know. I do like pinstriping, don't get me wrong, a little bit here and there. But I'm I'm more, I want this car to be a hot rod. You know, and I don't know, I, I hate to say this because I know a lot of other guys are building model A's and watching, but I just think striping on a hot rod shouldn't be there. I'm sorry I had to say it. I get maybe somebody do a little something on the headlight or something there, or, you know, maybe a little pinstripe down the side, but I don't know. I, I, I just feel like the way I'm, the route I'm going for this car, I just want it to look tough and clean and crisp, if that makes sense. And I don't know if I want striping on it. You know, I, I want the, I want people to focus on the car, not other things. You know what I mean? So just me. So I don't know what I'm going to do next year. I got to look at the clock. I got like an hour left. Um, I say I didn't get as much as I thought I'd get done, but I'm still happy. Every little bit counts. Every day, you got to do is. What's that on there? Dust. You got to do what you got to do. So, um, well, maybe I'll go find my headlight rings. Maybe I'll go find those and put those on. And I do got to measure up for the screws for the little uh, brass tags that go on the headlight. And I got to get my other alternator belt, which is laying here somewhere. I believe it's that one right there. So I got to swap that out. So, yeah. Well, we'll start with the we'll start with the headlight rings. Okay, guys, I got the uh, found the headlight rings. Perfect. Measure up the uh, size for the uh, brass screws I need to put in there, and um, that's about it. Oh, I did crawl underneath it. You see, it's up in the air. It just bothered me. I know I got to get it on the hoist and go through a little, a few little things underneath it. But the one main thing, like I said, that was off was the transmission on the mount was just a little bit. The transmission was a little too far over to the uh, right to the passenger side. So I loosened the two bolts off and just moved her over that and got her dead center, just off a hair. It was just bothering me. I just was like, oh my God, it's driving me nuts. So I had to fix it. Other than that, the only thing underneath really I want to do when I get up on the lift is I just want to go around and make sure everything's tight, just re-tighten everything. I even checked the steering wheel today. I couldn't remember if I had just set it on there or not. So I pulled the cap and checked the wheel. And um, God, my phone's going off like crazy. So that's what I did. So I am done for the day. That's it. Didn't quite get as much as I wanted to done. But next Sunday, tackle the windshield, get the back glass put in place, get the license plate thing on, get my, um, my turn downs on. Like I say, doors and deck litter staying off till it's upholstered. Um, that's about it. Oh, I'll get my plug wires made up and get those on. And I got to change out my oil pan. If you see, there's a big nasty leak there. Um, I went to put some oil in here and unfortunately the oil pan's got a couple little pinholes in it I never saw. So I just bought myself a nice aluminum thick quality one from Summit Racing. A black one with the fins on it. It'll cool a little better and it matches the same one I put on my transmission as a pan. So I'm going to be yanking that off of there and swap that out right away. 
and then uh, and then it's rad and hoses and all that and I think it's almost time to fire it up so not next weekend but the weekend after we'll be firing her up for sure so two more weeks and we'll get to hear it run and after that well then I'll give it to my buddy Ron if he's ready and he can start playing with the upholstery and uh, that works out perfect because that'll almost be the uh, mid to second to third week of February and uh, well I'm going in early right now because I'm gonna go book a trip to Mazatlan that's right booking a trip to Mazatlan getting the fuck out of town man getting out of Dodge so happy so if you're watching this Dan I'm coming down there to find you okay see you later